Hey everybody, this is Rishi, and I'm really excited to talk about email preference center best practices. We build a lot of custom email preference centers here, and I'm gonna show you kind of the best tips for a custom email preference center here and, and why you should use them. Number one, I wanna start off with just quick facts. The average unsubscribe rate is between 0.09 and 0.4%. Now remember, unsubscribes are not a bad thing. You actually do want unsubscribes. It keeps email deliverability high and keeps your email list clean. So it, unsubscribes is not a negative word here. We, we like them, we wanna make sure that people actually unsubscribe when they can. We also wanna stay compliant with all the laws. Now, the second thing is, this may seem like a low number, but if you start with a list of 100,000 subscribers, you're looking at losing about 18,000 subscribers. Now, we are making a few assumptions here. One, we're using that 0.4% number, uh, the, the higher number of the average. And number two, we're assuming that you're gonna be sending in a one email per week. So if you send one email per week and you're at a, at a higher unsubscribe rate, you are gonna see a higher amount of about 18,000 subscribers per year. Now that's a quite a bit of, of folks that you're gonna be losing. And so we wanna talk about kind of ways to lower that number in, in a better way. So in surveys, the number one reason people unsubscribe is they get too many emails. So maybe you're sending emails every day. Maybe you're sending them every week and they want it every month or they just want fewer emails. The number two reason, they're just not relevant. You're sending them uh, emails about your products when they just want coupons. You're sending emails about entertainment when they want uh, health-related news. So that's two big things of why people unsubscribe. So when you're thinking about email preference centers, these really are the two biggest things that you gotta think about. Making it specific to them and making sure that you're sending it at a frequency that they want. A lot of email service providers, they have a one-click master unsubscribe. So you click once and you subscribe to everything on the list. Now that is what the default setting is. And this is why custom email preference centers have, have become really popular in the last few years. So the biggest thing I wanna talk about, so now I'm gonna talk about my 10 tips. So 10 tips here, tip number one, give them options. We have, I have two kind of uh, email preference center options here. One is allow the ability to pause for a certain amount of days. So maybe you're on an e-commerce site and it's targeted towards people buying homes. What you can do here is you can actually pause for 30 days. So maybe they bought a home, but not, they actually haven't moved in yet or they haven't hired their movers yet and they're not ready to make a purchase, but maybe they will be in, in, on the 31st day. They also do a good job of, of grouping here as well, which we'll talk about as well. You can group a set of emails together so you can get you know the coupon related emails or the order related emails. Another option is to make it even more generic than this. Now this is a very basic uh, email preference center page, but it's very powerful. You can just have a toggle that says, send me all emails, send me fewer emails, or unsubscribe me from everything. Now what's great about this is by default, it allow, it actually picks the send me fewer emails. So they're already thinking about, hey, let's reduce the frequency because they understand based on the survey that, hey, people just want uh, you know less emails. They wanna stay true to our brand. They wanna be with our brand. They just want fewer emails. Tip number two, go through and, and highlight all the different type of brands or different content that you guys offer. So give them content-based options. A lot of times they don't want the tips email, but they do want the, you know, the product announcements. So, so segment it all out and let them opt into the opt-in and opt out of specific related news. Not a lot of times when they're subscribing to your form, you actually opt them into everything. And, and, and that's fine, but give them an option to opt out of specific lists or specific topics. Very powerful right here. And this is a very basic thing you can do in an email preference center. And this alone will, will reduce your subscribe rate by, by unsubscribe rate by over 30%. This is just a, a very powerful tactic that we've been doing quite a bit. Number three, use your own domain. People want to be consistent with your own domain. When they click on it, they still see your brand. They see your footer, your, your, your header. They see everything intact. Number four, allow them to edit their email and contact info. Sometimes people unsubscribe. Uh, and because, you know, they're on their Gmail, but they want their work email or vice versa. You know, they for some reason, they, they subscribe with their work email address. But you know what? They actually want to subscribe with their Gmail or their personal email. So allow them to kind of change their email. Allow them to see what email that's opted in. You know, maybe they want to add their, their uh, significant other's email in later on. Maybe the significant other opted them in and they wanted to update their email as well. Allow them to edit other data as well. So maybe there's other information. So when they are you know, clicking on that, that uh, preferences link, they can actually update other information. And that way, that can get mapped back into your email preference center and you can send even more personalized email, more relevant emails to them. Personalize your preference center. So one thing you can do is you can actually grab all the data that exists in your email marketing system and only display the things that they're opted into. And then you can also do related articles as well. 
So you can dynamically display related lists as well to your subscribers. So your email preference center now not only becomes a place where they can see the list they're opted into, but it's also like almost like an upsell page. Hey, did you know we have these other uh, related articles as well that you can, so you can leverage it as a managed preferences, you know, see what other newsletters we offer for you. It could be a very powerful upsell experience as well. Tip number six, show them what they'll get. So one thing that has been really cool is you actually can create like an image and, and when they, when they're, you can actually have a page where they can opt into other newsletters and they can see a sample and on click, they can actually see a newsletter that you've sent recently. Very cool. So they can see all the different topics. This is great for, for publishers that have lots of different lists that they want to expose. Tip number seven, collect subscriber data. So learn what they're interested. If it's like a skin brand, for example, in this case, learn all the things that they are most interested in so you can send even more relevant emails. Very powerful tactic so that you can leverage any of the things that they pick here to send them a very personal offer. And this allows, you know, this is also going to get backed into customer support systems so you know a little bit more about them and what they want to do on your site and what they want to buy from you. This is a huge tip. You know, this is how everything kind of, you can, you can change your email preference center based on what they pick here. So maybe they say, Hey, I'm getting too many emails. Maybe then you offer a frequency option on your email preference center page. So always want to always be finding out why they are unsubscribing and then changing your email preference center based on what they're asking for. Stay true to your brand, allow them to, you know, give, give uh, brand colors, keep your fonts intact. It should all look as if it's part of your website, not the email marketing systems website. You know, you, you want to stay in control. You want to use all the verbiage that you are using on your site. It is an extension of your marketing brand. So make sure you stay true to it. Uh, we love it when people use custom fonts, custom colors, we add their logos, all of that. It should be part of your site. And number 10, of course, use Digio. We are a drag and drop solution. Uh, we're a very powerful tool. Not only do we come in and build the whole thing out for you, we help you strategize, we help you think through it, and we build the entire end-to-end -end integration. We can also integrate with Google Analytics so you can measure performance as well. It's all brand compliant. Uh, it's all CCPA and GDPR compliant. Check us out. Uh, give us a call. Uh, set up a demo. Check us out at digio.com slash email preference center or, or let us know. Uh, excited to talk to you and work with you about email preference centers. This is one of the most exciting things that we're working on right now. Thank you so much.